Hey everybody, it's Tim here. Uh, obviously from the Liquid Courage podcast. Just wanted to give you guys a little shout out here on YouTube. Um, sorry that we didn't weren't able to get this stuff out in the last year. A lot of things has happened in the last two weeks for both me, uh, Taylor, and Sheldon. Uh, in the last couple of months have just been kind of crazy for us uh, in our personal lives and everything like that. So we're we're getting everything back to order. The new year is looking a little bit better for all of us. So I just wanted to tell you guys thank you for listening here on YouTube and for sticking with us. Uh, we'll have this out this week. Uh, we're recording hopefully this weekend for the next episode. And then uh, the, the real goal of the YouTube post of all this is to put everything uh, spread out. So you guys are getting usually these episodes in the middle of the month. And then the new episode comes out on Anchor which shoots it out to Spotify, iTunes, and all that uh, at the beginning of the month. Uh, not always possible, or schedules aren't always great for this kind of stuff. But yeah, uh, that was kind of the game plan. In the future, that might change. We might just put everything out at the same time, and I know I've said that before. But uh, from now, we'll we'll kind of try to keep that schedule the middle of the month uh, for YouTube videos and beginning of the month for the next uh version next episode of the podcast well thank you guys for listening and i hope you guys enjoy this episode uh remember to follow us on twitter and facebook this is the liquid courage podcast a in-depth look at every episode of courage the cowardly dog on this episode we check out Heads of Beef and Club Cats. Featuring Taylor, Tim, and Sheldon. Now here are your hosts. The truck sped down the highway at breakneck speed. Russell white knuckles the steering wheel while Bren stuck his head out the window and courage. He was holding on to the seat for dear life. Oh, fuck. (laughs) We're not going to make it, Bren shouted. Yes, we are, Russell replied, twisting the wheel as the truck's rear end tailed and started to swing around, nearly clipping the red sports sports car. Watch where you're going, you (laughs) fool. Stomping on the brake, Russell swung the truck around perfectly into the last open space at Burger's. Really cheap. A stereotypical the character. Out of the truck. The car pulled up, pulling a trailer stopped directly across the road. A sign opened up and read with shining letters Burgers, even cheaper. <coughs> Bren read aloud, Works for me. Immediately, a throng of people exited Burgers, cheer, <laughs> exited Burgers cheap, and drove across to the other restaurant. As the three started from the other road, they stopped. They were stopped by a crying Jean Bon. That is an excerpt from House Sitters, a Courage the Cowardly Dog fan fiction. It is chapter six, and it is relevant to our essay today. <laughs> Welcome to the Courage the Cowardly Dog podcast, known as Liquid Courage. Jean, it is me, Jean Don, <laughs> your co host, Taylor. As always, I am joined by Sheldon. Hello, everyone. And Tim. Hello, I am Tim. Holy shit, there are so many great uh, fanfics <laughs> related to this, <laughs> this episode, and I had to give you at least a little, a little, a little dip there. That, that, is, uh, that, is, that is House Sitters Chapter 6 by a gentleman named Titan Wolf. Uh, oh, I love fanfic. it. Fanfic. Dot net. Uh, so fanfiction.net. Yes. Stand. Someday we will do a whole fanfic episode. Cheeseburger in Paris. Uh, I tried real hard to find more creepy ones, but that one just sounded stupid to begin with. I yeah, love that fine. one. You know what? It's perfect. By the way, and this is alluding back to something that hasn't been said yet. Uh, that they can't allude back to something. It I know. I know. Said. Russell that is alluding the, means to go back or to something shadowing that's been said. Papa. Uh, in the the second part of the episode today, 
there's a Coliseum, and I thought Courage is going to have to well, fight another Courage. Ah, fuck. Uh, it's, yeah, that one comes later, doesn't it? That one yep. comes later. Season three. With Russell there, sitting there, yelling, you fool. <laughs> you fool. fool. We haven't had a lot of Russell these days. Um, Only once. Probably because... Wow. No, I, I think he's more of a season two character. Yes, yes. Yeah. But kind of like the, the doctor is <laughs> more play in season two as well. Um, but welcome, folks. Uh, as always, we are the Liquid Courage podcast, and we have watched uh, <laughs> two, uh, well, an episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog, which consists of two halves, an A half and a B half. Um, and we're here, and it's been uh, been a ride we're we're approaching the end of the year. There you are. And happy we, holidays, everyone out there. Yeah, we didn't uh, we didn't start this directly uh, at the start the, at the start of the new year. So our our anniversary not come up yet, but uh, we want to th- you know it's it's fun. It's our December episode. We should have found a Christmas episode, but uh, it, that was it, the snowman. Yeah, Sorry. I was gonna say that yeah. was the last month. Yeah, it, it, we. Uh, we did it early. It's fine. We're doing these in chronological order, folks, and so this is kind of where we we end up. So sorry if you want to listen to that. Go go back. And you can't tell us. me that heads of beef isn't a Christmas. Oh episode. my god, <laughs> I, that's the stockings Great. are hung with heads of beef with care, um, and hope that Saint Jean Bon will soon be there. Um, oh, wait, wait. I ain't holy French. shit. So. It was a crazy, crazy ride watching what we did today. Did you think cannibalism was going to be implied? Woo. In the and, dog you know, it's isn't it the right time frame? When did Hannibal Lecter come? Ooh. Um, the movie? Well, there are several like different. Lambs? Fuck. That right. was late 80s, right? Um, Would you fuck me? Courage. Oh my I god, how did that not happen? <laughs> Silence of the Lambs, 91. 91. So it's it's so, not so no. Uh <laughs> too relevant, yeah. It's it's nine years later. Um this is a pre-9-11 <laughs> Fucking world. Fucking strike so. it while the metal's hot, you know. That's, yeah. <laughs> Evergreen content. Um Yeah, this was a good one. I normally I, I talk more shit at the beginning. Um, no, this is no, one that I, I remember. Yeah, yeah. No, dude, I liked both of them a lot. That's the thing. Is like normally I talk mad shit at the beginning because it's it's fun and it's fun to listen to. I <laughs> fucking a. Maybe wow. I'm just cold and drunk, and it was different. I don't and know. You're but... like, man, that was the love I was looking for mm. so long. Yeah, it was good. Um, it was a good. Catch twenty two episode that we'll allude on later, but do you have you read Catch twenty two? I don't think you have. I have not, but I know it's okay. that like it's so, one thing but another. No, Catch twenty two deals with all right here. Mm-hmm. Taylor's <laughs> literature corner. <laughs> da, da, da. Catch twenty two is a book. It's a satirical book about war, and it's about the Second World War. Yesarian is a pilot in the second. Well, he's not a pilot. He's a bombardier in the Second World War. And he wants to stop running bombing missions because he's tired of almost dying. <laughs> and he goes to a doctor that's to ground him. And he says, what can I do to be grounded so I don't have to fly in missions anymore? And he goes, well, I have to register you as being insane. And he goes, OK, so register me as being insane. You can't be. insane. And he says, I can't register you as being insane. And he goes, why? Is because you have to tell me that you're insane. And he goes, OK, I'm insane. And I go, ah, but in telling me you're insane, you're not insane because an insane person doesn't know they're insane wouldn't care yeah so i can't i can't if you come and tell me you're not insane because you couldn't possibly know that you're insane but i can't ground you until you tell me you're insane but if you tell me you're insane you clearly are not insane it's catch 22 and so now you've learned something today there you go taylor's literature corner that's where the origin of the phrase comes from it basically means that yeah you're stuck in a situation that's inescapable You literally can't get around anything. It's yeah. one of my favorite books. Sorry, I was wrong. No, you, you should go read it. Yeah, <laughs> no, this was not designed to make you feel like a fool. Stop this it. This was designed Too to make you go read Cast 22. Go read yeah, Cast 22. It's, big. it's like 350 pages. It's great. Joseph Heller is a fucking phenomenal writer. Um, Book the, made laugh. But that's the only one that he really wrote that's any good. Um, 
so there's that. But that's Catch-22. And so, yeah, you're kind of right, but it, it, it's weird. This is much more of a, a, a subverting... A, I'm gonna pull. F- I, yeah, we're, I'm gonna pull a red letter media. Oh uh, fuck! And yeah, this this episode really subverts my expectations. <laughs> ah! And that's not a joke. Which most of the time when they say it, it's a fucking joke. Um, let's go. So here we are. Trouble. Yeah, let's talk about this shit, eh? Um, yeah, heads of beef. Wow. Heads of beef. Love it. <laughs> Ash- wow. Now that I've seen it, it reminds me that it is one of my favorite episodes just because of how stupid it is. It's a fucking powerhouse of an episode. It's great, Um, yeah. And it's really just kind of courage in a very simple situation that he over exaggerates. Yeah, and yes, and yeah, I think I think we'll round that uh, that part when we get to the end of it because I think this is a really good one that we talk about the. at least one of the conspiracy theories that we we've the lemon twist yeah yeah Um, Yeah. and so uh, writer head writer bauer this one at least that's who is is credited as being like the the erwin s bauer on it uh but the basic plot is (laughs) muriel is ill and she can't make dinner and because eustace is a trash man where's my food muriel i'm hungry for burgers he does that fucking okay boomer uh but i used to some sick he's so sick yeah fuck Fuck that you're supposed to be the woman um (laughs) more as he goes no and Muriel can't make dinner, and she asks Eustace to go to a bakery. That's the weirdest fucking thing about this. Because you're to me. sick, let's go to a bakery. I I was about to say something about that. It's also it night. It's night. Go get scones. Was nobody it? willingly oh, wants scones. a scone? Yeah, no one wants a scone. I was like, was it because of tea? Did she want tea? Yes. No, she no. wants she wants scones. No, I've she, never had a scone. She wants it's a shitty muffin. No, she yeah. wants scones. She wants scones, but at the end of the episode, she is drinking tea. Maybe she wanted it with her tea. Well, probably. But if you're ill, why would... Fuck. Uh, I, I get the tea, but why the scone? Maybe I'm with you. No, I'm with you. She wants something sweet, I guess. But scone... I'm not... I am not a scone stan. Ariel's uh, in a diabetic crash. That's what's happening. I, she needs I, sugar now. I, I don't <laughs> dislike scones, but scones are kind of shitty muffins. I'd rather have a muffin. I'm with you. If I told my parents when I was sick and I asked them for a scone, they would beat me. But (laughs) same. (laughs) Well, you know that's that's because you're that's because you're an American. Um, (laughs) They go, "What's wrong with him? Something's wrong." They're they're hitting it out of you. We don't scone. They're beating the devil out of you. Didn't you, Sheldon? (laughs) Scones are scones are like the top of the muffin, but they're like crumbly and hard. And they usually have something else in them, like jam so or something. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I've had scones that are just like blueberry scones, and I'll dump, I'll, di- I'll dunk that shit in my coffee, and I love it. Yeah, that's. But not I'm bad. just like, I'd rather have like if I was gonna do something like really bready and great, I think I'd rather have a blueberry muffin with some good ass butter. Now's mm. the kind of, now's the time to go watch the Bidging of Bavish uh, episode about skin. Yeah, God, yeah, I'm hungry. Right. <laughs> Too bad. I've got burritos. It's fine. Oh, uh, shit. So she wants scones and Eustace is all grumpy because he has to go do it. Because but like, <laughs> but like, this is one of those things that I go, holy shit. Eustace is just a fucking terrible human. He's yeah. yeah he's just straight up an asshole. We've like, there's no way around it. Like Eustace. Like, yeah. Uh, I. It says a lot about their relationship. And the next episode is going to say even more. <clears throat> now, granted, like a good husband, he lies and says he'll go get the scones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a good husband. Sure. Um, Which is more relatable, sure. I guess. I hate that sound bites in the world now. Because um, <laughs> he, he goes, I'll go get you your scones. Yeah. Hey. Take take courage with you, you know. Take the talk with you, so he doesn't. Damn it! Forget. And then courage, courage <laughs> puts his own leash on. Like a I hated that. I hated that. I there was something about that that immediately made me go. Ugh. Courage is a slave in the mind. I was gonna say, physical. courage is an allegory for slavery. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> He's the Uncle Tom. 
No, no. definitely not that. Let's stop. <laughs> let's stop this conversation right here start, before we go. Anymore. I'm going to start giving you quizzes on literature books. <laughs> That's what I. I believe Fucking I read. Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin. I don't know, man. No, it, it's a it's a racist. Fucking I know what Uncle Tom dog. is. Yeah, I know what Uncle Tom is. Don't. Uh, I believe you, Mr. Um, Pittman. Fuck. Did you have to read that, Tim? Did you have to read Miss Jane Pittman? I was in a very weird place in my high school. So no. Uh, yeah, I had to read no, The Mockingbird read twice. Oh, well, yeah, To Kill a Mockingbird is good. Twice, so here's, though. Here's, here's, here's the thing. Sheldon and I were, were far <laughs> enough apart in school that, like, when our class was asked if we had to, if we wanted to read Miss Jane Pittman, a story about segregation and sadness, <laughs> or mythology stories about kick-ass fucking gods and lightning. Oh and no! Cool you, shit, you we chose the... mythology. Hey, we that's chose what we mythology did. Mythology too, but we had enough time to read Miss Jane Pittman as well. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, you guys were smart. We were stupid, and we took longer. <laughs> Yeah, we took hey, longer man, too. I, I read mythology. Read Jane Pittman. Oh yeah, it's I read Odysseus. A book. It's a yeah. good, it's a good story. Like Odysseus is good, or the the. But I liked Odysseus. Yeah, Odyssey. And, and, the Iliad, and, yeah. Uh, and also the play, the stabbing of uh, Caesar. You know, I can't remember the well, play title. That's, that's, that's just Julius Caesar. Yeah. Oh no, that's, oh. that's just Julius Caesar, Sheldon. I remember that one as well. I did read that. I read all of the mythology stuff because I was in mythology class, which later turned into a Christianity class, which. Behold, later. a man uh, as I hold a chicken. Yeah. Pluck chicken. Sorry. I also played Caesar in our uh, English. You class. played Caesar? Yeah, I got stabbed. I, oh, stabbed you. I was Brutus. I stabbed somebody. I was I, Cassius. Yeah. I told you to stab him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, all, this no, describes I, our podcast perfectly. It, it actually depended on the day because we switched roles. I was mostly Cassius. I died a lot. Oh, I died a whole lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, you Romeo did. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Uh, I was like Tibble. I was... I was a whole bunch of dudes that just kept dying, and I took my death scenes very seriously. I <laughs> That's why they kept giving it Romeo to you. And Juliet. I faded out a lot in Romeo and Juliet. I was yeah. Tibble, and then uh, later, I don't remember who I was, but I was someone who didn't die later on. But I do remember going I on. You, <laughs> just because we have to act for high school doesn't mean we don't have to emote people. The yeah, weirdest... I, uh... The weirdest thing in my high school is that we watched the Leonardo DiCaprio version of uh, oh, Romeo and Juliet. The, the Basil Rand version? Yes, we watched that in, <laughs> in class, in school, and I was like, oh, we so should good. not be watching. All it's right. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Um, if you have not watched, Basil Rand also made Moulin Rouge. Um, if you have not I looked up... It. It's dope. Not, if you have not looked up the uh, the it's music a good video uh, "Sunscreen" by Baz Luhrmann, it's it's a music it's a spoken word <laughs> slam poem to a beat that was taken from a graduation speech. It's fucking phenomenal. It's great. Go watch that. Let's talk about courage. I was gonna say, where are we at now? <laughs> We're on this tangent now. Um, so, but, so, so Eustace and Courage are driving to go get the scones. Yeah. And 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 fucking Eustace miss his his, his turn. Just drives right past and it. And Courage right is like, now hold on. And then Eustace goes, shut the fuck up. We're going to get burgers. Slaps the dog. So many words. <laughs> um, no, yeah. no, he said it in more words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get like, a burger. Shut up, stupid dog. I'm gonna get me a juicy burger. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was just going to buy hamburger meat. Like, I have apparently forgotten this episode so much you, that I was like, he's going on. to the grocery store. <laughs> you thought this is a regular episode. Second, this was going to prepare his own burger. No, I realize the stupidness in my thought now. Because <laughs> um, all he said is, I'm going to get me hamburger. And I was like, is he going to go fucking buy a raw hamburger? <laughs> Just shove the tube of meat in his mouth. <laughs> well, and that's when Tim was like, oh, raw, like, is he going to get like raw burger meat or whatever he's, whatever Tim said in the in the, in the the watching. I Man, was like, you yeah. gave him a really sad voice. I'm sorry. Tim. <laughs> like, that Man, was insulting. I'm I sorry, I didn't Tim. mean to be. 
<laughs> Most of the time, I sound like either Kermit the Frog, John Mulaney, or fucking Ray Romano. Fucking sue me. So you actually um, sound like two people because Ray Romano and Kermit the Frog sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware. Um, but that was the other thing. And I wanted to talk about this briefly because it's fucking weird. Um, in our part of America, mm-hmm. there, yeah. there are people. There are, there are places like this. Who are there are, but there are people who eat hamburger meat raw, salt and pepper. It's called raw burger. Yep. <laughs> as blue as and, you can get. It, I mean, they don't cook it. Yeah. And most of the time, uh, and here's the th- yeah, here's the thing, dear list. I'm gonna do steak and ground your own fucking hamburger. Don't go to the grocery store and buy a tube and just fucking eat it. Um, it's basically steak tartare is what it's supposed to be. Right. But people don't fucking do that out here. Um, They're fucking I don't weird. know why. It's a German thing, but it's not. They lie and say it's a German <laughs> thing. It's a part it's of our no heritage. It's like, uh, you could just fucking put that in it's any not. kind of heat. Just put that in the oven for me, sir. Yeah. I'm yeah. not eating that. Literally anything. Start a fire. Put that on top of it. You'll be good. So, like the fact that I have that knowledge and used is like I'm gonna give me hamburger. My brain was like, "Is he gonna just fucking eat raw hamburger?" Like that was where my brain went. It was just raw hamburger meat. <laughs> we live we in that part of the world. I don't blame you. Yeah, right. And that was the thing. I was like, "That sounds like a weird fucking thing that's gonna bloody be bloody raw here. meat down his gullet." So what you're saying is that it was weird, but it wasn't too weird that you'd be like, I haven't heard of that before. Oh, no, it gets weirder. <laughs> um, then we find a sign for cheap burgers. A good sign of quality, no, by no, the way. Not only, <laughs> burgers really cheap! <laughs> exclamation point. Which I have seen. I live in eastern Kansas. I have seen that a lot. <laughs> there are shit like that everywhere. Because that's what you want to hear. Not the tastiest burger. Not the biggest burger. Yeah, fuck, it's just like, yeah, really it's cheap. cheap. Again, yeah. that's a depression era thing. You mix fucking hamburger with the uh, breadcrumbs so it stretches farther. Yeah, or egg or whatever else bullshit you have in your really kitchen. Cheap. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you can get burgers real fucking cheap. Don't do that, folks. Don't do it. Sometimes they're great, but if no. you love yourself. I've yeah. had some really good roadside burgers, yeah. but not. Not a lot of them. (laughs) Coming from a man that will buy a fucking gas station hamburger, eat it, and enjoy every bite of it, don't do this. No. (laughs) Oh, God, no. Don't eat the egg salad, either. Which is... (laughs) Yeah, no, no shit. That's just (laughs) parasites. That's straight up worms. Uh, Hey, Futurama has an episode about that. They do. They do. Based on fact. Um, (laughs) So... That groaning has worms... You know it now. Stop. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, they they answer this burger joint, and it's like up to this point in the episode, I'm like, this is a pretty standard Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. <laughs> like, weird situation. Here we go. Weird we, shit hasn't happened yet, but yeah. you know it's coming. <laughs> we enter the burger joint, and it's like an old timey diner, but the. There's a lot of camera angles for this animation that just do the unsettling thing. And the only thing it was missing was the fish eye lens. Yeah. Right, yeah. Not do and that. Like you enter it, there's a gentleman eating there who put me off. I think because he was the most human looking person we've ever seen pink. in Courage the Cowardly Dog. It, well, his proportions were fairly normal. His skin color was that of a like an of actual a person. Man. Yeah. And like he had blonde mustache so it's kind of off-putting you're like is that right but then you think well, about it and you go it, yeah I, I i guess i've seen that before yeah, and yeah. It's, it's mostly the proportions that i go that's just that's <sighs> a dude like that's just a dude everyone yeah. else is a character that's just a dude and then we meet the character and then we meet the character <laughs> with this back door the kitchen <laughs> swings open and it's a fucking anthropomorphic gene bond kid. John is John, John is French. Sorry, is John Vaughn. But my name is, <laughs> and I just immediately um just went. Oh, I don't like that. Taylor knows too much about. <laughs> I don't pigs like to enjoy either. this character. I know. I know enough about <laughs> serial killers that there's been many of them that live on fucking pig farms. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look it up. Do I don't give a shit. You do your life. Um. <laughs> Pigs, but great and horrible. They're 
their nature's garbage disposal. Yeah, they'll eat anything. You the put anything reason, in a trough, they they'll eat it. They also go mad when they smell blood. So yep, yep. They, they also can go feral within thirty <sighs> days, the fastest of any domesticated animal. Um, <laughs> so perfect <laughs> setting for this. Episode. They're also they're also dirty as all get out. That's why. Well, yeah, and a lot of religions you don't eat. Yeah. Yeah, because it would give you trichinosis. Yeah. Um, trichinosis. <laughs> that's the funnest jingle for a terrible... <laughs> trichinosis. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna die within 30 days. Trichinosis. Have you... <laughs> did you guys ever watch the the, uh, the Dilbert animated series? Uh, which one? Oh, oh yeah. Dilbert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. There I was probably a time... didn't see the episode that you're going to There was watch. a time when they, they had to design a product and they had to come up with a name. <laughs> okay. The only thing that was left was like horrible <laughs> poisons and like something else. And they came up with seborrhea, which is like a terrible <laughs> skin condition. And they had to come up with a fun jingle for it. It's it's a it's great. Go watch that. It's an under. I episode. I like don't Dilbert. Look up, don't look up the creator of Dilbert now, who is kind of pushing weird politics. <laughs> well, who is it, right? Clown Dick Dot mm-hmm. Farm. But uh, no, Dilbert is one of those shows that could be on Adult Swim right now. It's it's like almost adult. Yeah, it was it was like enough adult that it's funny, but at the same time enough like not adult that it wouldn't enough adult that it, it wouldn't get funny. kicked off TV. Yeah, yeah, it was like funny. it was a good show. It only had like two seasons, but on uh, UPN, <laughs> the greatest network in the world. You're the only person who remembers you. I know, and that's. I what, was about to ask him what the fuck he was talking about. It UPM. was a shitty, shitty. T- it was a shitty, shitty television. Duckman was on UPM. Damn it! I stand what by the what I said. What the fuck is Duckman? You never watched Duckman? <laughs> nope. Oh, I have a. Uh, <laughs> just watch the Rebel Taxi Duckman. <laughs> Rebel Taxi has a you great Duckman. Explain it to me, but then you're like, I can't. No, There's no I way can't. to explain that show. It takes hours. Don't. I mean, I have a feeling that it's a duck that's a man. The duck detective. No, Duckman's not a duck detective. Yeah. Duckman's just a fucking dude. Darkwing <laughs> Duck is a duck detective. Isn't this. When there's man? trouble, you call DW. I'm all over that. I'm pretty sure Duckman was just a fucking existential dude. <sighs> All right, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll agree, agree to disagree. To disagree. I was gonna say, but yeah. as this pig walks into frame. Yeah, we. You. <laughs> this drunk tangent is brought to you by Tim. I think Sheldon has to drive this episode. I'm kind of shook. I'm trying, but no, it's fine. Yeah, no, doing good. But, but so so courage looks at him and goes, "I don't trust pigs," as one should, because <laughs> courage <laughs> hates cops. Um, when does one help them? <laughs> Sure, I just seen the LAPD and knows what's wrong. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? But it's stupid. The um, the whole the whole plot starts when the the regular looking guy just goes to the bathroom. He's like, no, where's the? Actually, I remember. You're right. Go on. Sorry, I. I oh yeah. I fucking interrupt. He just goes. Oh, uh, excuse me. Where is the? Uh, 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 and the pig guy goes right through that door. Through that and door. I, it's it's heavily implied that he means bathroom. That's what I thought he meant, but he doesn't Absolutely. say it. So Yeah, yeah they the never thing. say it. Yep. They tease that and then you it start getting these something different. <laughs> these weird angles like keep going on, right? And um Eustace orders a burger. He he orders one for courage, and which John, is the nicest thing he's done. Yeah, <laughs> but also the tiniest one, the tiniest burger that they had. He's a cunt. He's like, yeah. um, and Jean Bon, uh, Jean Bon, excuse me, Jean uh, Bon, Jean Bon, like bon. puts the that bun. away, and then he begins to clean up the area, and he picks up the the gentleman's belongings, <laughs> which Courage goes. Ooh. Yeah, Courage sees that shit and is like, that seems wrong. And Jean Bon just responds with like, I'll I'm just gonna keep this until I'm he gets back. It, I'm holding on to it for Which him. is actually not outrageous. <laughs> yeah. Well the wink you is just say wink says courage. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and this this is Sheldon's fan fiction, right? Did you oh, just yeah, say you wink? Know. And it it's in the middle of the episode. No, I didn't say wink. I said wink. <laughs> 
Yeah, I said wink. <laughs> and um, so this happens, and <laughs> then he brings out some burgers. Which look Eustace, delicious. Yeah, Eustace starts eating them. And then... Courage pulls Courage open. Opens, his... Yeah, he opens I'm the bun on his. A, I'm gonna catch up this fucker nay, up. Nay, nay. Cats up. Thank Cats you. Cats up. Sorry. That's what's on the bottle, <laughs> folks. Foreshadowing to the next episode. <laughs> I, I hate it, too. Um, <laughs> and he opens the bun, and there's a face of the gentleman inside of that burger. And I, you know what? I would also freak out if I saw the face of, like... A random stranger that was well, sitting next but it's, to me but in it, a restaurant. But is it guilt or is it actual face? It's it's paranoia. It's, it's probably just paranoia, but yeah. you know, because he does but, show it to Eustace, and, and then Eustace just goes, "What is burger? That's burger? Just burger, man? It's Eat just your burger." burger. You're and freaking like, out like this. I'll never buy you <gasps> another burger. <laughs> and I was immediately like, "What the fuck." And the whole thing is like this episode with the angles and like the sound in the background <laughs> legitimately is kind of unsettling when you start putting the pieces together and you're like, oh, they <laughs> really mm. cheap burgers as people. <laughs> yeah. And so like I'm sitting here like, did Courage the Cowardly Dog do a fucking cannibal episode? <laughs> Like, did they really do a fucking cannibal episode? Like, I know 2000 was a different time. It's pre 9 11. Yeah, it is pre. This episode is pre 9 11. So, but I was uh, like, what the? F- it's also pre f- Janet Jackson. So, the FCC bullshit well, that happened it wasn't here. Won't let me yeah. be. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't stop myself. <laughs> Jean Bond says, like, it's a special recipe that my wife makes. And then my wife her- wants to meet you too. <laughs> Yeah, and then Courage. That's the thing. I must have, like, just blanked at a moment. Taylor um, started hyperventilating. Uh, I, uh, so Courage jumped up goes, and was scared. Does he go downstairs first? Yeah, he does. So basically, okay. he sneaks away while Eustace is eating his burger. Well, and, and, and the pig guy goes to the back room. Yeah, the pig guy goes to the back room. Courage jumps up like scared onto Eustace, like trying to get him out of there. And Eustace just throws him and throws him into the back room, which is where the uh, the the guy went down the stairs. Yep, exactly. Yep. And then and then we just see two shadows talking about like a head of beef. (laughs) 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 Episode delicious as they just tear pieces off of this head and start eating it and then you go okay i i want off the ride i want off (laughs) that was the point that i was like "Mm, uh -uh. no thank you this seems way fucking worse than anything you've done to this point please let me off mr bones i don't like this (laughs) and so courage proceeds to scream up the stairs because who wouldn't because it's courage and then that's when he and then I don't remember exactly, but he latches on to Eustace once again. Online, yep. And Eustace goes, fuck off. I'm eating my burger. Pretty much. And then John and, Bond and, and, and then John Bond shows up and goes, my wife wants to meet you. But then he turns to courage and there's like weird shadows. And he goes, yeah, my wife wants to meet you. And then he leaps over the counter and goes right now. <laughs> it's like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> and I made the joke about squealing like a pig. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's kind of what's happening here. And they go, they go back down, and again, shadow play looks that's like heads. Widens looks, her jaw like a snake. Yep. Jean Bon chases courage. He gets hit in the head with an ironing. Granted, is, looking back at it, uh, none of their behavior is actually creepy. That's the no, thing. it is. Like, it's nothing. Nothing is actually offsetting, but because of the angles and the implication that's there the whole time, I'm like, do these fuckers do a cannibal episode? That's that's a cannibal episode. That's why I wanted. That's why I said it was a catch twenty two. It's supposed to be like a regular courage episode <laughs> where it's super yeah. fucked up. Yeah, I get it. but, but it's really not. You know. It's not. Yeah, yeah, at the end of it, he goes, "Oh no, it's, it's fine." Not. It subverts your expectations. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, that's... and then you and then courage leaves Eustace to die. 
Yeah. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Uh, Courage beats the uh, the pig over the head with an ironing board, not by his oh, own yeah. choice. He dr- okay, he drops it. Let's not. He doesn't just. He doesn't mercilessly he beat doesn't him about the head and neck. Guy. Oh come yeah. on, that's no fun. He doesn't. You gotta be. You gotta be <laughs> proper no, on your no, terminology. Is the protagonist that is innocent and does no wrong, he is, so he, he couldn't. Is a, beat he is man. a good boy. Could not have hurt him. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, but. Uh, as soon as that happens, Courage runs up the stairs a little bit, looks back, and the wife actually does come out of the back. We see her for the first time. She's like, she, oh, he's such a cute dog. I could just eat him uh, up. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, she, and, and then he flees through the, yep. through the mail slot because, of course, he would. Because the door is locked from the inside. Bolt, yeah. he, leaves, he leaves Eustace in this suspected cannibal restaurant. <laughs> and that's the thing is as this fucking bolts leaves goes home sees muriel and then muriel's like he'll bench <laughs> and like and then and i'm then sitting cuts. here going no he's not muriel and i'm like do i have to mark this as a death like what the fuck but, but then end scene <sighs> lemon <Yeah>. twist <laughs> <laughs> it cuts back to the diner and it turns out they don't eat people at all. They just they just do art. His With wife meat. makes heads of beef. Like heads of people. She like Eustace. Like but with beef. Yeah. Like they, they make eat it afterwards. And they make a Eustace head and he goes, wow, this is really good. And the other guy that went to the restroom earlier is like, I want you yeah, in my gallery. Nice. Yeah. I want you in my art gallery. This is awesome. And, and then they, they turn out to be the best people in the Courage universe. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're just nice weirdos. <laughs> That's it. They're just nice weirdos. The end. Oh, yeah, hands of beef. Over. Yeah. So, Holy I love this episode. Shit, this episode. <laughs> I, this is uh, like this. This ep- I love this episode. I, I do love this, epi- I love this episode. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you 100. percent I love this episode. Mm. It was great, and it was so. It was actually unsettling. I definitely felt tinges of like this is like fucking weird and and creepy, and the angles they're using and the, I, the, the perspective. <laughs> yeah, when I when I started this, I had no idea Taylor hadn't seen it or no, didn't, I, didn't I remember had. it. But I totally only remember the character of Jean Bon, and I didn't. So I immediately just assumed. I think I said earlier, as soon as I saw the uh, the courage put on his own uh, collar or what if collar, oh, whatever. Uh huh. Uh huh. I was like, oh yeah, I remember this episode a hundred percent because <laughs> this is one of the earliest episodes I did see of Courage. And let me tell you, as a child, it doesn't help. Oh yeah, as a child, I was like, "Oh, that's not that bad." Goes, they're eating people. They're eating me. Oh God. Oh why? I thought I was like, "They're eating people for sure." Oh, well. Oh, I never mind. I like as a kid, I was just like, "So wait, how did they?" I want to say Eustace to Eustace. I want to say this is uh, an episode that uh, that aired quite a bit because it was more friendly for kids. Run. It wasn't as scary, but it was also had those scary elements. But at the end of it, it's just like, oh, okay, no beef. And it wasn't a twist that was dumb. It was a twist that actually you it know, made sense. Yeah, yeah. it yeah, wasn't it a sense. goosebumps episode. No, twist. no, it was it was good and it was weird, and I legitimately was so confused. We're gonna invade the planet. Look up there; it's called Earth. <laughs> like it was <laughs> such I legitimately was so confused and slightly concerned that they had actually made a cannibal episode and I <laughs> and I just sat here going but wow. you were not as concerned <laughs> when they had a zombie episode no the zombie episode was legitimately frightening <laughs> um, <laughs> eating eating meat from but a zombie there was something Ooh. about this where I was like are they fucking gonna make Eustace a bird? Like, there's something inherently about that. There's, there's, there's just something that goes down to in, I guess, in <laughs> that I immediately go, 
people burgers people burgers. like yeah I, I feel like um i feel like cannibalism is just a a concept to me that is just extra taboo taylor just doesn't like immediately people <laughs> especially yeah, no. on like a kids network and that animation like for kids it was just yeah, such so. a weird thing that my brain was just like did, no did they fucking do this did they do this because if they did this i don't know this is a weird time this is a, a very good example where writing was very well done it was oh good my god so Irvin so s bauer so yeah good job hats off to you sir and hats off to dilworth who probably hats off to jean bon did all of it and I even love the voice acting. It's, it's, oh yeah, it's great. He's just a nice guy, but then they're like, "Let's give him a let's give him a freaky twist." Would you like some uh, trivia for this episode? There's not very much, but sure, eh. buddy. So this episode actually shares its music with another episode in season uh, called "Mission to the Sun," where Courage, <laughs> Muriel, and Eustace go to the sun to try to save the sun. Uh, and that's all we'll say until we get there. I don't remember that episode that well. I do know that it is brought up. Like, I remember enough that it's just stupid. It, it's a fun episode. When we get there, it'll be fun. Uh, so. But it's also not last debut of uh, uh, John Bond. Oh, yeah. John Bond comes back in uh, actually seven or eight episodes. All right, what? <laughs> That's way more episodes than I. So he saw. he's come he comes back in eight episodes. Uh, two of them he actually has speaking roles in, and the rest are cameos. So uh, so he just sort of shows up, right? So as the seasons progress, the episode. Oh, that's that's a great. One. <laughs> uh, we'll get there when we get there. Though. Uh, we'll get there on the roadmap. The next time Don't we worry. see uh, John Bond, it's in Cowboy Courage, which. That's true, but like this episode was such a strange, weird ride when it oh, came yeah. down to 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 my expectations and what was going on. And I think <laughs> because of it, it just it was such an odd an odd shot in an, an oddly <laughs> shot and oddly framed and a, uh, and a completely different. Uh, You're going to watch my episode. I just was right like, now. It was, it's so good. Yeah. It's so fucking good. It's, um, and uh, the other thing that I wanted, that I really wanted to talk about, about this, going to move on to, to cats club <laughs> was that uh, Sheldon brought up a really good point. Which was like, <laughs> this is kind of the episode if you really wanted to point at um, the conspiracy theory of like, <laughs> it's all in Courage's head. He's um, just dumb dog. Dumb, silly dumb dog. Stupid dog. This is the one that you want to point to. Yeah, that's a good point. Because it is just all in Courage's yeah, head. <laughs> it's 100% just a hyperbole of what he was feeling at the time. Like it was, which was scared. Which was, uh, he was big. He was big scared. He was big spooked. Oh man! And I think that's a good thing to point at and to talk about because that's definitely something that it's also the best part of this episode. Yeah, that we <laughs> we we've talked about before, but I don't necessarily know if we've really. Like, covered i i know we've kind of we've kind of shit on some of these conspiracy conspiracy theories before because of course we're we're fucking well some of them some of them are crazy shit on them yeah but i mean like at this point watching this episode looking at the reddit and looking the other like places where conspiracy is like and all that uh yeah you look at that and you go well this episode does not help us debunk those things like Mm -hmm. But uh, this is like the best one. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's a good episode. That's the problem too. It's like, oh yeah. shit. We can't just rule it out as like a filler thing. It's not a Cajun Granny stew. It's even if it it's was better. a filler, hey man, a show is only as good as its worst filler. Yeah. That's true. That's, and that's the thing, is like again, it's it's not a Cajun Granny stew, which is good because that that one's shitty. Um and because of this, it it absolutely 
I think kind of subverts the as stupid as that sounds because it was a joke in the beginning, but it is it it, it takes your expectations of where courage has gone to because courage point. has always been so fucking creepy. All yeah. the time. <laughs> and then well, suddenly and, it's like, no, that's not the truth. Well, and every time courage has been fairly spot on. Like, yeah, no, this shit's fucked up, dude. It's Good gonna call, kill dog. you guys. Something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. But this one was like, oh yeah, no, he's just a silly dog. Courage is wrong on all fronts. <laughs> Literally everything. Except there might be there's a little wink at the end. There yeah. is a little wink at the end where it's just there like, is. I wanted to see that dog. Maybe they use dog meat instead. <laughs> oh, I think That's it's my me. conspiracy theory. <laughs> Thank you for that. That one. Now I hate it. Again. <laughs> it just sounds like weird white people. They like. Eh. And but that's the thing is like that was an it was enough of a kind of an, a nice sum. But up that's just a theory. A game theory. Yeah. Uh, and this is Mad Pat. Actually, this is the news. This is Pat Rat. Um, <laughs> this is Dat Cat. This is oh, welcome God. to Cat. <laughs> Cat when I think of now. when I think of Mad Pat, I just think of the Oni Plays version of Mad Pat, where it's like, no, oh, that's just a theory. Actually, it's the news. The news. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. So anyway, gentlemen, this show. Yeah. Uh, Space uh, burgers. Uh, I rate it. <laughs> I, I uh, fuck. I was gonna I say, do you want to do heads of beef? <laughs> heads of beef, yeah. <laughs> or five That's squealing better. pigs out of. Uh, I was gonna say face. Like I, I screamed there, face burgers, but it's, face burgers is pretty good though. Mm. Uh, face burgers, yeah. I, uh, You're making me hungry. You know what? Here's you know you rate every. Ratings. This yeah, place. everyone just do their own stuff and make we'll... your own. Go from there. <laughs> Starting. Oh, God. Uh, I will start. Oh, oh. Unless okay. you want to, show. All right. You go first. I will give this a four out of five faces on burgers. Uh, ah. Because uh, it exerts our expectations a little bit. Whatever. Fuck you. I'm drunk. <laughs> We've been drinking all night. Uh, That's <laughs> but it is not your usual courage episode it's a little different it brings something different to the table and although it it seems almost like a filler it's not it actually brings up a point where it's like this could hey, also be in courage's head or it could also not always be that bad i so. use the word filler but i want you to know filler is not bad for me no, filler, most of my yeah. favorite episodes in series that I watch are fillers. <laughs> and that's just because I love to see these fucks in there day to day. I don't need yeah. to plot all the time. I'm with you. I get that. Yeah. I'll rate it four out of five courage wieners. Yeah. Courage wieners. Woo. Oddly enough, not penises. Not penises. <laughs> But on uh, but the show it was just fun. I liked it. It was fun. It was a good time. It when I first watched it, it got me. Uh, and watching it again, I went, "Oh, it all makes sense." Like, like there's not one of those moments where it's like, "Ah, but why this?" It was just sort. It was just a good episode <laughs> that gave me a good twist at the end. Yeah, yeah, Taylor, that's, that's, that's good. Cute. I know. Um, I think uh, I think I'm gonna rate it a five out of five. Yeah, uh, pig feet. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. pig feet. Ooh. Nice. Five Stomping upstairs. Yeah, it was. Uh, that this episode had elements that were legitimately worrying. Um, as an adult that I watched that I was going, <laughs> holy shit, I hate this. Oh, I, like there was a point where my skin was like, oh, God, are they really going to do that? And it, it, it really did send a, 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 a minor <laughs> chill down my spine. Um, it was entertaining and it, it, it was not it. It subverts the expectation of where you think you're going with this ride. But it doesn't. It's like when you're it, it'd be like if you're on the Winnie the Pooh ride in Disneyland and you're like, you're getting ready to go to Tigger's 
like <laughs> you're, 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 creepy you're, you're ready playing. you're ready for that part where he pops out and talks about how he's gonna fucking bounce on you and shit and then <laughs> suddenly you take a hard right and you're like piglet's what waterfall and you're like oh in my <laughs> sad life i cannot relate to that <laughs> I'm sorry that you didn't go to Disneyland. I've never um, been. <laughs> oh man. But I don't remember, but I've been. But like it was it was good. It was great. I love that. Um I think that it's I think it's a I honestly think it's a better episode than anything we've seen up to this point. Yeah, I agree. Because of, I think the writing is great. I think the voice acting is great. I think the angles and the art and the tone is just perfectly paced. It's a and great idea. It, yeah, I... <laughs> I think it's, it's a better episode. The writing is so much better. Just because it does the... I don't, I don't, like I said it before, the Catch-22 kind of mm -hmm. bullshit, where it does the change, like, oh, it's not actually scary, it's just it's just you, you yeah. fucking see it from this angle. Yeah, you were just fuck. freaking out for nothing kind of yeah, thing. And, and that's the thing is like uh, Ramsey's is great. Um, fucking Freaky Fred <laughs> is great. Cats is a great character. Um, and like those early episodes set a really cool tone, but this really works on that tone really well. Um <laughs> Yeah, it, it causes problems with the whole conspiracy theory bullshit. But like <laughs> it's, it's like it's, Taylor doesn't want to admit that something supports a <laughs> No, it totally does. And I, I, I get that. But that's the thing, is like it's kind of one of those things where it's like if you have a test and ninety nine percent of the time the test comes out positive, but one time it comes out negative, you can't go, Well, we the whole test is fucked. It's like, no, that that's that Autism. doesn't mean that it's fucked. That's is that a pregnancy works. test? What's going on here? Uh, Vaccines cause autism. Stop. <laughs> yes, yes, all of the above. But like, uh, but that's just what I mean. Is that it? It has it has a different kind of a tone to it, and I and I really like that. And uh, I think this is a, a one of the superior episodes that we've seen. Great. And I I can't wait to to continue. On to uh, a episode where we actually see one of the characters. Yeah. Hey! Oh, boy. Um, God damn it. You're welcome. <laughs> we. Yeah. As we kind of go from there, we go to another episode that is good. Not as it, it's good and not as well paced. Um, no, it's very heavy on the much, end. Much My sillier. Um. Take a seat and, over there. And much more standard when it comes to a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. Oh my god, I can't get that in my head. Cats is the <laughs> Stop. Why don't you have a seat over there? Why don't you have a seat right there? And, and it's I can't find my chair! And it's just the big foot. I like, <laughs> that, I like that you think that Cats is going to be Chris Hansen. <laughs> yes! In reality, Cats is going to be confronted by Chris Hansen. <laughs> Um, so you turn well, people into machines anytime you want cats but you can't get far so we next part remember we oh, have God. his phone record we have the phone record <laughs> don't say the next parts because those are sound bites that can be oh i'm not in yeah court. you're you're right um <laughs> but <Yeah>. chat <laughs> club cats is the the b episode here um Head writer David Stephen Cohen. What, yeah! up, um, what up, Cohen? <laughs> at us the, again. <laughs> it's also the first episode that courage causes the problem, really. Yeah, Team Courage. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a weird one because Cats is not inherently in the mix uh, if it That's wasn't later. for courage fucking the entire vacation. Um, I don't feel so good, Eustace. Yeah, and Muriel's reading an ad. She decides to go on vacation. Uh, Courage is super stoked. Eustace isn't, and he says that he is not going to leave his chair. Best joke. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next scene, we see Courage, or we see Eustace in his chair in the same pose on a boat, and that was the fucking best thing ever. It was see? so funny. Not getting out of this. Not chair. getting out of this chair. And I went same. 
<laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I agree. You st- and um, I, I think we're going to I think I'm going to go kind of fast through the first parts of this episode because it's, it's, it's really not takes anything. a while. Yeah, it, it, basically, if I if I boil it down, uh, courage gets seasick. He voms into a pipe that leads to the engine, like an exhaust pipe that leads to an engine and he clogs the entire engine. Which, like, dude, you're on a fucking boat. Just do it off the Literally side. Yeah, like, anywhere else. The ocean. Go here. The ocean is almost infinite it's at this point. Lovely. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> um, and the Help passengers sure. panic. They crash into an iceberg, but it's fine. And then something worse happens. Tidal and wave. Then, <laughs> and then we're all like, well, that was stupid and silly. And then tidal wave, and we all. And that so, overtakes the ship, breaks yeah. it up. In a weird way, Courage didn't cause the problem. No, I mean, he stalled the ship out. Okay, yeah, so the ship could have gone around it. The tidal wave, if it wasn't for Courage. Yeah, they, they could have just gone around the iceberg, just gone around all that bullshit and be in the tidal wave, like, over it. But no, like, yeah. not what happened. And the bags then, wash up on a shore, and the all Lord of the flies happen cares about is his it's more like uh, island of dr monroe you're Mar- absolutely Mar- right because Mar- there's Mar- less Mar- there's less children murder that one time that's uh, my least favorite part that that one movie slash novel where marlon brando had to be fed lines through a fucking <laughs> earpiece because um, <laughs> he refused to learn his line man this, yeah uh, there's a really good story about that film that I will talk about later. Um, but this happens, and they wash up on shore, and Courage is sad. Eustace can't find his chair, and Muriel's drinking tea and fine with being on a deserted island. Because it's like a vacation. It's like a vacation. Close enough. I, Fuck it. That poor, that poor woman. That shows you how far, how many times they don't leave that f- <laughs> Uh, never. They literally that's, never leave it. If she thinks that that's a vacation, being shipwrecked on a deserted island, <laughs> oh, either your optimism is through the goddamn roof, or you are the saddest person. No. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm gonna um, see it. So they're shipwrecked, uh, and then we see a pair of eyes blinking in the distance, and Ooh. the next day. Uh, as Courage carves coconuts, which never come back into play. Awesome. Uh, and the walking <laughs> animation from Cat's Hotel comes into play. Yes. But they were all smiling until the last coconut. No, they literally the no. first one smiles. The, the rest first one's more smiling. frowny. All frowny boys. Um, and then Cat shows up wearing a dapper jacket and introduces himself to the bags, which pissed me off because they've already met him. Yeah, Curry yeah. didn't recognize him either. So yeah, that was stupid. That was so, dumb because we courage. we don't we. This is not establishing that there are multiple cats. It's still cats. <laughs> it's the cats. It's the what cat. Is, yeah. I wish Courage was just. I mean, I wish Cats is just wearing like a shitty mustache. Like that would have. That would have like. Well, that's the thing. I'm ninety percent sure later on he does that shit. Yeah, they do that later in other episodes with other characters and cats, I believe, as well. Well, you know, all time we're setting it. <laughs> I mean, they're in the middle of nowhere. Who, who the fuck stops by, right? Um, and so cats informs them about the spa slash club that they have. And Come join my club. Yeah, we cut then to all of them uh, kind of in this bungalow wearing robes that had That's a nicer word for shack that yeah, it's a bungalow it's a um, case shack <laughs> and uh, it's it's like a Gilligan's Isle type of thing and they're all wearing <laughs> Eustace and Muriel are wearing robes which are embroidered with KK for club cats which is almost close to uh, another thing yeah oh boy uh, oh. Age like milk. Um, <laughs> it's Thank so God, it's... It. age like a. F- <laughs> no, it did not age nah. like fine wine. No. Not at all. No. Um. Exactly. Club cats <laughs> is here, and courage is suspicious, but he's he's still like not a hundred percent sure, and so he goes to a vending machine. 
And this is when the shit just falls up, just goes <laughs> off the rails. My favorite character um, in the whole series. And never you, return. <laughs> you, you have the vending machine with the pop or the soda fall to the ground. And it's the captain of the ship has been turned into a vending machine. <laughs> you must leave this place. You must run. Give him a root beer. Um, no, nah, he doesn't which, give him the root beer yet. And he's no, really excited. Root beer, root beer. Yeah, root beer. He never tastes the root beer until well, later. He dispenses the root beer. That's um, true. Pump. Yeah. pump that, right in my dick. That hurts me because I need to know the anatomy of the man. Is he mostly machine or is he still mostly man? Judging by that, root beer. Judging by. <laughs> oh no. Taylor's getting ready to write a fan fiction. Let me I tell you. I know what you're saying now. Uh, uh, judging by what's happening, that is his bodily fuel instead. The uh, root is think, my right. penis. No. Oh. Um, courage rightfully freaks the fuck out. <laughs> um, and tries to stop Muriel and Eustace to going to the spa, which is clearly where these transformations are happening. You will feel a transformation. Yeah. Uh, and that doesn't work. And then Muriel and Eustace enter the spa, and next scene, we see them exiting the spa with cats pushing <laughs> a two-wheeler, a little a dolly, whatever you want to call it, with a laundry machine on it, with a washing machine. <laughs> and it's Muriel, followed by Eustace the Wrecking Ball, and I have never seen a fucking more poignant <laughs> uh, allegory for domestic abuse hey, man. than I have ever seen. <laughs> what stars were you born under? The Wrecking Ball. The Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball and the washing machine, you know. I can't wait for the dystopian future in which all astrological signs are fucking destroyed and we have to come up with new ones and no one's As, like, At the age of 30, Scorpion. all washing machines need to be decommissioned. What the you fuck is a scorpion? I have a bulldozer. Run. I really exactly. He just watched it. I know he did. That's the point. <laughs> um, I won't be able to stop making. He's jokes gonna to keep making old. references, and I'm gonna fucking goddamn mind. That movie is fine, but it's not good. <laughs> I, I it's oh yeah, it's all right. Say, like I was expecting, fucking terrible because you started it with. <sighs> it's fine. It's uh, fine. It's uh, just okay. You but can't. then, but then, but but sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, oh, it was made in a fucking time where that shit was fucking cool, and now I'm just like, it's stupid. It's fucking. Well, dumb. I'll tell you. It's like it Soylent dumb. Greens. Also, who the fuck let Soylent name their goddamn company Soylent? Um. Well. Anyway, let's not name that now. And now we have two verses here with Eustace the Wrecking Ball. Yeah, there's a fucking Muriel, <laughs> the on washing this machine. There's no one there except cats. It it's, must get real lonely. It's only for his enjoyment, and he sets up a fight between Muriel and Eustace. By the which way, is unfair. I have to. Y you you basically said what I was going to say in less words. How bored are you to set up so one-sided fights? Wouldn't you make it more even if you had that power? So like, fair, we come from the land of the demolition. <laughs> <laughs> I preferred I, I, I preferred uh, robot wrestlers or whatever the fuck it was called. Uh, Death robot match. wars. Robot, robot wars. wars. Thank you. Robot Thanks, wars. Robot wars were rad until everybody realized, hey, did you know that the fucking ramp and flipper is the best design <laughs> ever? Oh no, or the or the one that's just a pick and it yeah. just slams down. Yeah. <laughs> ramp, flipper, and pick all in one. Mm. Man, it was really cool when the fucking wild wild west of robot wars was like, we put four chainsaws I on. I put it. a flamethrower on yeah. my robot. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna put whatever which, I want. Which if you out. really think about it for more than five seconds. Seconds, it's like, wouldn't a flamethrower not do well against a robot? <laughs> gotta melt the servos, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, flippers always go flipper. Folk. Flip it upside down, we win. <laughs> now murder it, murder. And then you take the pick. Yeah. Uh, Get that so wheel. It's a fight between a fucking laundry machine and a wrecking <laughs> ball, who are still anthropomorphized and people. I'm a wrecking ball. And they're talking to each other. I hate that. 
It is such. It is. Such I'm never fucking... gonna. I'm never gonna stop saying it because that. No, fucking... no, no. The phrase is fine, but it's like the feeling of like that is a married couple. They're just literally fighting. I'm gonna like, beat you while it's still okay. Isn't a. Uh... Yeah, it's. It shows that you're metaphor. a good husband too. It's so weird. It's such a stupid. Oh. The fact that you're not looking for an excuse to beat your wife. Uh, yeah, he's just like, oh, now I, I, I kill my wife. Whoa, oh, man, dude. I'm whoa. A ball now I can hit my wife all I want. 19, this, the 1950s were weird. Eustace um, had the power to fight back the whole time. Yeah. yeah. No, he fucking chooses to be. I'm sorry, it just hit me right yeah. now. Yeah, and no, now it's. You, know, you understand what I've been saying the entire time while you've been going. Got a wreck, and I and I've been going. Sheldon, you're you literally so, my. So what what works this way in here, right here? Uh, oh, courage is locked out of the coliseum. He climbs up the top to see what's going on, and Eustace is fighting Muriel. A wrecking ball is fighting a wreck, a, a washing machine, and then uh, at one point, courage is just like a dog's got to do what a dog's got to do. He jumps into the spa and gets made into a machine himself. Dog copter. He gets made into a dog copter. Right. Dog dog Do you get to choose what you get turned into? I, I wonder if I like bet a not. Board. I bet <laughs> not. I bet he doesn't. Like, it's so just, he could have just been fucking plunger dog. <laughs> well, it's all, it's all animatronics, right? So he would have been dog. something. Uh, electronic or whatever. Okay, fucking drain weasel. <laughs> is that is that electronic in your house? Do I need to ask a lot more questions right Have here? Have you like... never seen a fucking like uh, the electronic like, drain snake slash drain weasel? I guess not. Holy yeah. shit! But <laughs> fucking fucking water heater dog. I, I I guess you're right. Yeah, courage becomes uh, uh, a courage copter. He becomes the courage Glock nineteen <laughs> Glock seventeen, and he just shoots cats. He he comes down. He murders everyone. No, uh, he becomes a tank. Um, <laughs> Dog Abrams. No. Oh yes. Stop. I, I just ran my microphone into my teeth. That really hurt. That's great. Don't ruin my family name. Uh, don't, well, you're gonna want to cut that out. You want to cut uh, that fucking out? I don't get. I don't care. <laughs> All right. We do. Uh, I don't. <laughs> um, hey man, if they can find him, they can find us. <laughs> oh please, I'm already on Twitter. I got a thousand followers on Twitter now. By the way, woo! You verified yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, uh, courage, the planning machine. <laughs> As he lowers down his magnet to pick Courage up... Courage the circular saw. <laughs> Courage the band saw. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, uh, Courage is now a helicopter down. who has a uh, magnet on the bottom. Yeah. And can lower it down to grab a uh, mirror. <laughs> He's got an attractive ass. Damn right, son. Damn. God damn. <laughs> Hey so, folks, I need you to know something. Tim's gonna cut out like twenty seconds. Uh, we had somebody interrupt our recording session. I'm gonna be transparent here. We yelled for way too long. Uh, he just joined a fucking recording. Like, I just want that to be known. I think that's funnier. So if there's a big break in like <laughs> continuity in the way that we're talking, that's why. It doesn't matter. It, it says recording on our channel, and it's yeah, locked. I know. I know. And he's. He, He's a mod on this channel. That's the uh, thing. I haven't talked to that guy in like two weeks. What the fuck is he doing now joining a random channel that's locked? Because he's, he's a bastard. He's a bastard. He's a bastard, man. <laughs> what do you I might, I might leave that in just to be funny as shit. Uh, anyways. Uh, so. He's a good boy, though. Don't disparage him, folks. He's a good guy. Um, but. Courage, the helicopter saves Muriel, the washing machine. What a fucking weird sentence I made. From Eustace, um, the wrecking ball. From Eustace, the wrecking ball. And cats then, the cat. th that's the thing, though. And then Eustace realizes that Cats has had his chair the whole time. And then he fights back against Cats. And that's when I went, are you fucking serious? Because <laughs> it shows Eustace 
had power. <laughs> and that's the thing. That's the whole episode. Then they land on a boat and just sail off into the sunset and courage gets sick again but that's the thing there's no good resolution to this episode <laughs> mario's still a washing machine and courage is still a goddamn helicopter no don't worry they get the indian doctor they fix it real good they get a few no things. they don't that's the thing <laughs> <sighs> oh so <laughs> so i'm gonna go trivia because i'm gonna take tim's job uh <laughs> the second appearance of cats no duh um, the episode is a parody of the novel The Island of Dr. Moreau and also technically the movie but we'll talk about that in a minute um, when drinking his soda Courage gulps it to the beat of the theme song <laughs> really? Fuck are you Sheldon. fucking joking? yeah Sheldon got it Sheldon called it that's in recording stupid. that's stupid that's I what owe it is. myself five dollars that's yeah, so do. fucking Eustace's line, nope, no, nope, sir, not getting out of my chair, has become a popular internet meme. What a <laughs> shitty piece of trivia. Um, yeah, when was the last this time you is, saw that meme? Literally, I've never seen that meme, and I've I fucking, I live in the internet. No shit, same here, man. Well, listen, I'm memes with are different now. No, <laughs> when no, that no. that trivia was written, that meme probably was popular. It could have been oh. like a 2005 meme. But yeah. now you're in memes where it's like, me and the boys getting beans, and it's just... Oh, it's just hold beans up. on, beans on, beans on. It's just black figures Ta- hold up. in the background. Right here, Taylor knows memes from TikTok right now that I don't know. You're don't right, know. Papa. Like, I do. If, if he doesn't know that meme, that meme's not going on. That's that's yeah, no, all I it's answer. probably old as shit by now. It's old. Um dying days now. Didn't you hear? This is the second time that we see Katz's legs walk <laughs> as the theme of the night at Katz's Hotel. You know it's a plays. Book, just making that trivia. <laughs> um on the cruise the bingo announcer announces B22 but Muriel marks N on the sp- what a Here. stupid That's thing. great. Fucking, yeah. What a great trivia. <laughs> Yeah. What a great twi- um, trivia. Are gone, boys. I'm starting to when <laughs> Courage sneaks into the spa not. transformation tent and turns himself into a helicopter, you can see clearly his eyes are sky blue. But at the near end of this episode, Courage's eyes are mysteriously white again, as they always have been in normal dog form. That's are great. Let me just fun fact, not trivia, continuity error. I just load this gun. That oh, oh my wow, that's so okay. weird. Oh yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> very clearly a an alle- or a reference to the the novel by H. G. Wells, The Island of Doctor Moreau. Um, that's the whole episode. It's just a, it's just yeah, a that's all it is to that, which is yeah. totally cool, and I like that's that. Fine. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to talk about the the novel. I want to talk about the movie, the 1990 <laughs> the, the, the movie in which Marlon Brando played <laughs> Dr. Moreau, in which if you don't know who Marlon Brando is, uh, he's an actor in America and he rose to stardom in things like Streetcar Named Desire and Guys and Doll and things like that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Later on in life notoriously hard to work with uh his early career was great but later still mm, notoriously hard to work what with. An asshole. um but <laughs> like he was in the godfather and he had to read his lines a a like a, a cue card that was duct taped to robert redford's chest um <laughs> what a bullshit thing to say he is a psycho if um, he could be an actor i could be an actor yeah at that point what the fuck wrong, wrong. yeah um but brando in in <laughs> in the movie that he he played dr monroe or dr moreau in um the there's a fun bit of trivia in which he wouldn't learn his fucking lines. He would never wa- he would never read his line. He would never go over his lines because he was much more into the method of being actor. And so he wouldn't cover his fucking lines. And my favorite <laughs> thing about that movie is that during that time, uh, he was getting fed his lines through an earpiece. 
And right. the earpiece was essentially telling him exactly what to say and when <laughs> to say it. Uh, but it also ran off radio frequency. <laughs> so oh, there would no. be times midway through scenes where Brando would just start talking and it would just be like a news report. <laughs> <laughs> it's like local news just like there are six, six oh dead that movie came out in 1996 there is now six dead on the side of the road like, and like, it's, dead was found in the elevator yeah what the fuck it's my favorite thing because he's this fucking well respected actor and he refuses to learn his lines and he has to be fed his lines through shit and this is not something that is inherently oh. true to just this movie. It happened in other movies. <laughs> and it's the dumbest fucking thing. And the like the book and everything else is also silly because being transformed to, to other things animal. Um and that's like it, it's also been parodied by The Simpsons and and Yeah, like several that. times, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like courage is not the first person to do this but he is definitely one of those those people that ends up kind of or this is one of those those episodes that ends up being a reference to something that has been referenced over and over again kind of becomes this this weird family guy type as you continually yeah. having this and so the real question is where it, it's just such a fucking silly idea that it's a reference to this the, to this film because it's happened more and more. But it's it's just I I I love I love cinema and stupid fucking uh, <laughs> trivia and that I had I had to bring that in and you the had fact to share that knowledge I did all of you <laughs> that's that's the thing is like. I believe in the island of Dr. Uh, Moreau, the, char- yeah, the doctor is turning people into animals. Um, right, right. He is, he is turning them that, whereas this is he's turning them into appliances. But that's, <laughs> so, that's, that's the, the only real difference. Right. So that's about it. It's, it's such a weird, it's such a weird thing. And like, clearly it's, the least strong contender for the two episodes we watched. I but think. it's still pretty good. But it's, it's still good. It's definitely so. This is the question I need to ask you guys. Uh, this is is this a filler episode or not? Oh, it's a, it's more of a filler. Uh, ah, fuck, they're both filler episodes. Are they? <laughs> but that's the thing, though. Is like we- I don't think they are. I think they're <laughs> both standalone kind of courage episodes that they're just like. Yeah, Courage went on a cruise, and this is what happened. A wrecking ball fighting a washing machine, Tim. Or, yeah, but, but that's the thing that was like, <laughs> Cass is a main character. Cass is a main villain. I, I don't think is he. Was... He's been in one episode. This but is he, a filler but, episode for Cats. But he ends up being one, and that's the thing. I think we're setting the the tone of like Cats mad. popping up here. Um. Because it's not like the fox from Cajun Granny Stew. It's not like those. He returns types. though. Hey, yeah, but yes, but, but that episode is one hundred percent a filler episode because there's not a lot of plot that actually happens. There's nothing that happens in that episode. Yeah, I, I think comparatively, I think you could call the Cats Club more, much more of like a ah, uh, we have a strong A episode. This is an okay B episode. Sure. Still, I think it, it, it's a B episode that has a plot. Great. You know I, mean? I actually think yeah, I, I agree gotcha. with you. Yeah, I agree that this is not a filler, but it's, it's... not my favorite of the two, but it's still really good. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, kind of I, that's kind of where I'm sitting at is that I don't think it's it's definitely as bad as it could be. And uh, so I so... think that you end up kind of. Uh, Dealing in a different time. Uh, I think that we call for rating this episode. Uh, I was going to ask. Yeah, I'd rate it 3.5 out of five appliances. appliances. Oh, appliances. OK, there. I not, listen. I'm not firing off on all cylinders right now. So I will say uh, four out of five wrecking balls. Ooh, that's probably better. That's a better honestly. one. But, uh, yeah. I think we're going to uh, I'm going to give it I think I'd give it. 
probably like a 3.5 out of five uh, carved coconuts. <laughs> yeah, and there you go. Good. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, yeah that, I'm with you. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, like I said, it's not bad. It's not like stellar. Um, I think the first Cats episode is a better episode for Cats. Um, I like the references that are made here. Um, but I think I think the A episode of Heads of Beef is just so it, fucking it, good. That's more the problem. This would probably be a four if Heads of Beef wasn't so good. Right. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I and I probably would have given this five. Constantly going. But Heads of Beef though. <gasps> if this is compared to something that's like a filler episode or something like that, then I probably would have given it a five. Agent Granny Stew. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sorry. I really don't like that episode. <laughs> Honey, by the way, to our YouTube audience, uh, shout out. Uh, I know you guys love that episode, but. I'm sorry, what? Our, our YouTube audience does love that episode of uh, Courage Coward Dog. They do love Kitchen Granny. Oh, but. So they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. That's good. It's Listen, good to Tim's know. Tim's gonna stand with you guys, and that's great. See, Tim. But, uh, Tim is a YouTube stan here. No. Oh um, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I you, it's, I remember just the just a few episodes ago, you said Cajun Granny Stew was not as bad. As I said it, it out to be. I said it was a three out of five, and what I stood at that. You stand at. Yeah. I stand hey, at it being an average stand episode. On the wall all the time. What, a, what America <laughs> do you stand by, Tim? I'm scared. Don't make me choose. You're gonna have to fucking choose by the rest of the audience, and I'll shoot you if you choose the audience. I don't want to choose. You you live in an apartment. I live in a house. I can be as loud as I want. Yeah, I don't. I don't give a fuck about my neighbors, but uh, his neighbors, uh, they don't deserve any respect. They also work at night. It's great, but uh, mm. but anyway, folks. Yeah, no, uh, I'm, no. I'm looking through our YouTube. Because I'm fucking. You want to see the comments? You well, you need, need to, to like look at the people out. Then you need to look at the Cajun Granny episode. There's one guy. <laughs> one guy equals. It's. It, I. I have the That's FCC like 50, rules. Thousand Taylor. I was gonna say like it's the FCC why rules. You, why I get, you hate uh, that episode. It is. It okay. Number one, grammar. Uh. Why do you hate that episode? It's just trying to have we fast humor. You thought that epi- fuck off <laughs> uh, was bad. Look at the episode called Scrubba Scrubba Do. That was so terrible. You might be right, Michael. We're not there We're yet. We're not though. there yet. <laughs> not we'll there yet. Scrubba Scrubba Do. Don't and if fucking do it, this to me. And if we that, hate it more than fucking. I'll, I'll eat my hat. I'm not going to. And well, that is my hat. That is the question that we'll bring up when we get there to Scrubber Scrubber Do. Scrub I, I fuck. I don't even remember. That's a, it's in season two. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll fuck. get there. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there eventually. I'm getting louder. But uh, I I do agree that this is one of the better episodes that we see. That is. It probably is. Taylor. Stop looking at our YouTube. No, We're not. drunk. I'm lo- no, I'm looking at the fuck. I'm looking at season two. There's Hold no up. thing called Scrub Us. Oh, yeah. You have two. the box. As I, I, do. I am drunk and you are drunk, Sheldon. I don't know what the shut up. Look at it. Like, oh, mm-hmm. what you're saying. Can you find a Scrub Us, Scrub Us, Scrub Us, Scrub Us in season two? two? Uh, give me a second. I'll look. Uh, stop it. Don't fight our YouTube audience. I'm not yeah. fighting him. I just want to find it. I actually want to find it. The only people that listen to us? No, no, no. I'm I'm looking for it because maybe it's not Scrub and Scrub and Do. Maybe it's called something else. It has to be called something else. I'm not sure what, but it's definitely not called that. And I don't see it in uh, either of our things. And if I'm wrong and I check it in the morning, I'll have uh, our Twitter. Uh, L- listen, man. My- uh... I can't find Scrubba Scrubba Doo. Oh, Scuba Scuba Doo. It's Scuba Scuba Doo. It's gotta be. Screw. Yeah, would that is that on there? It's uh season three, disc one, Scuba Scuba Doo. All right, Michael. <laughs> You're off the hook on this one, Michael. Oh. You win this round. <laughs> you see that, yeah. yeah. You just misread Scrubba Scrubba Doo, didn't you? No, it's he he has it spelled S C R U B B A. Listen, uh, what I have to explain 
social media. Because <laughs> these guys don't know how to spell. No one knows how to spell on social media. Have you I looked don't at know how to spell? <laughs> have you looked Michael, at I didn't, Michael? I didn't call you out for your spelling. I, have you looked yeah. at any trending topic? I called him out for like, his fucking grammar. I don't. I don't want to do this because I've done this at work. It's like, oh, you misspelled a a instead of an and. It's like, oh anyway, god, Michael. Michael, you love seem like you. a lovely person. Uh, <laughs> I just want you to know that uh, I fact check. We appreciate you listening in. Six episodes later. Fuck Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, we have rated this episode, so uh, I guess now I we're at we our call it soon because I'm we're at our I like, party. I like that Tim is trying really hard to make sure I don't say anything that could possibly. Uh, uh well, we're too late for that shit, aren't we? Uh, we can cut we it. Yell- we yelled at a good friend of ours. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, hold up, hold up. You say we can cut it post, you mean I will cut it. Listen, Tim does all the work, but we bring the personality. It's fine. That's correct. I will give you that. Do you need us to find a... Well, now... now gotta we can find an editor. Do you want us to find an editor? <laughs> no. Because if you do... Then... Ed, Ed, and Eddie! <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you're going to find somebody who's just like, yeah, it's great! And he won't cut out anything. You. I just listened to Michael's YouTube channel. Michael, I'm sorry. Stop! Is he way more, like, is, is he better than us in every way? <laughs> no, he's a child. Oh. Everyone. God, uh, God damn it. Damn we're a child at heart. How are we gonna get past Kappa now? Mm-mm. How are we gonna get past it before? Yeah. We're drunk, cursing every point of the way. Don't, we're not Why, those people. Not- Listen, Hey, Michael, don't listen to our podcast, dude. Like, we're... No, we're adults, my man. This is a adult podcast. T- uh, uh, fucking Tim, you gotta start putting up a warning now. Anyways. Tim. The TSP connection. Go ahead and just... Uh, Tim, you run our YouTube channel. Why haven't you age-gated our content? This Are you the 18 ad- or older? This is what, what the adpocalypse is all about. What are you talking about? It's already age-gated. <laughs> well, then he lied, Michael. Don't lie. Oh Michael, shit! You know what, Michael? It doesn't matter. It's okay. Anyways, don't to the man, go watch what you want to watch. What are our uh, closing remarks on this episode? I'm oh, honestly, I already want said. Want me to continue remarks, to do this because I'm gonna keep being an ass. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want you. All right, we need to end the episode. We need to end. Good. It's not as good as heads of beef. There, I said heads of beef better. Goodbye. Goodbye, hey, everyone. Goodbye. Come Good join night. us for the next one, where we possibly won't be as drunk as we are now. Three more, two more episodes till the end of the season. Two more. I won't lie. We're gone. Bye. Love you. Stay in school. That was the Liquid Courage podcast. An in-depth look every episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog. On the next episode, we check out The Revenge of the Chicken from Outer Space and Journey to the Center of Nowhere. Music was provided by Visionless. You can find them at www.soundcloud.com slash V-I-S-I-O-N-L-3-S-S. We do not own the rights to Courage the Cowardly Dog. Until next time... Have a wonderful night. Something smells fishy or my name is Stinky Lulu. And thank goodness it's not.